So to make this work, we're going to have, we need a random number generator, right? Yeah. So you can draw stuff too. So there you go. Oh, hang on. I'm going to draw stuff there. So when I swap that to that, you can draw because it's got some overlay. Okay. So I can still see through there. I can't type, but you can draw and stuff. Okay. So you can circle things. Not right now. Yeah. Now you can. That's great. Well done. <laughs> All right. So you know how three, if you go three divided by two, yeah. that's 1.5. Yeah, well, actually, it's it's two parts, right? So there's one, and then that is half. Yeah. So modulo is that part there. The numerator. Yeah, numerator of the remainder. Oh, okay. The remain the fractional part. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's go. Um, yeah. Let's go. What's what's up? Another one. Seven. Divided Divide by, by three. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's almost, that's almost a, well, you, that you could go either way, right? So it's a six. It's close to six or it's close to eight. And that's 2. close to three, three. Something like that, yeah. Six divided by, so it's, yeah, so it's two. Point three. So it's two times three is six and there's one. So it's one half, uh, one third this time. Okay, so modulo. Modulo is very useful for doing random numbers, turns out. So 3 divided by 2, mm -hmm. 7 divided by 3, mm -hmm. so 7 modulo 3. That's the one, that's the, that's this. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So you can use that to generate a function a formula which lets you compute a sequence of numbers which looks random, turns out. So if you go number plus, we'll use a prime number. We usually use prime numbers. I suppose it doesn't matter that much, but modulo, let's pick 13. Mm -hmm. So Let's say the first number is, give me the first number. Four. Four? Okay. So the new number is nine. So you just keep feeding back the next number. Oh, uh, okay. And that's literally what the random number generator does. It remembers what the previous random number was and it feeds that back into itself and then it can generate a sequence. And it sort of looks random-ish. Mm. Yeah, it's not, these numbers are too small to make it good random, but you, you get the idea. That actually works quite well. I'm pretty happy with it. Mm. So yeah, I could make a function out of that. So you go, next random takes a number and it returns the number plus five modulo 13. Okay. So next random. What was the first one? It was four, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. So then next random. Oh, that's really cool. Hmm. So that now, instead of writing that out all the time, I just write the name. Perfect. Yeah, it makes it easier. We could use this, we'll see if it goes to so 6, mm -hmm. 11, three, 3, 8. So it's a bit laborious. So let's do i in the range 12. Mm -hmm. How am I going to do that? So hang on, that won't work yet. I need to store the value. So number equals four, and then for i in range twelve, uh, num. Hang on, we'll print the value first. Print number, and then we'll update the value. So we we'll use next random based on number. So I'm overriding number with number. Yeah. yeah. 
Oh, how's fast? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 11, 12. 12. I've got a 0. Mm. I suppose you could add 1. Yeah. Alright, so let's do that. Number equals 4. So. Mm, yeah. I've got a 13, which is a bit out of range. Mm. Hmm. Mm. How are we going to fix this? So if it's 13, if it's out of range, then we'll get it to compute again. Yeah. I think. So count, counter equals 12, while counter greater than 0. Number equals next random number if number less than one or number greater than no hang on no. if it's in range no 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 greater than or equal to one and Number is less than or equal to. Well, I could I could have used that, I suppose, but I just changed my mind and I'll do it this way. Um, so if it's in range, then it's okay. We can print it, and that means we can reduce the counter by one. Yeah. Else, if it's out of range, then we we don't do anything. And we continue. That should still generate 12 random numbers, but this time it'll only generate numbers in the range 1 to 12, I think. Mm 